It's beer review number five, Newcastle Werewolf Blood Red Ale. This is due to the name, as you can probably imagine. This is only brewed and uh, this is only available in the fall. This is their fall seasonal. It's an Irish red ale, and it is 4.5% ABV. So drink on, I guess. Uh, formidable beast. What better way to toast the fall than to have a bottle of this formidable dual character brew? At first, smooth with mellow overtones of berry, sweet berry fruit, a bit of bitterness suddenly cuts through, long and deep and lingering. Brewed with rye malt, it is naturally blood red in color, unlike the mystical mythical wolf-like creature said to roam the bleak moorland surrounding Newcastle. This real, this is real, so consider yourself warned. And imported by Newcastle Importers, White Plains, New York. Newcastle is in Edinburgh, United Kingdom. Alright. Let's get this into a, you know, the standard old pint glass I got here. Um, let's try it out. Okay. In the glass, it's definitely nice dark ruby red. Definitely a good three, two and a half, almost three finger head, which will probably die down. We'll see. Um, khaki colored head. It's very rocky. Uh, lots of tight white bubbles. It looks inviting and it's already dying down. It's very foamy, very foamy and very carbonated. Let's get a smell test on that. Yeah, very roasted. Similar to the Newcastle Brown Ale. It's, uh, toffee, caramel, deep roasted malt. Not really getting any hops. There's like a slight earthy scent going on. Grainy. Let's take a taste. Cheers. Very dark roasted malts. Sweet. I guess it does have that sweet berry fruit kind of a flavor. It tastes like even a darker version of a Newcastle, really. It's not a lot of hops in this. It's a very roasted and earthy, sort of a malty flavor. Very, that classic Newcastle toasted malt flavor. Sweet, grainy, toasted malt. Um, there's a little bit of that wet cardboard taste that you get from American lagers, actually. This isn't going to change when warmer. It's not going to do that, so we won't take a break and then let it warm up. The mouthfeel... It is very carbonated. Mass amounts of carbonation. I think it's a little bit too carbonated. Yeah, too carbonated. It's medium. It's pretty rich. The head is very creamy and has a full taste. I think it's a little bit too crisp. A little bit too much carbonation, but... Overall, really sweet, 
toasted notes from the from the malts has that wet, greeny, cardboardy taste from whatever the greens that they use, whatever the wheat or the grain that they use. Um, so almost like a darker Newcastle, really, but just that it's a little bit too sweet and it's a little bit too carbonated for my personal liking. I mean, at 4.5% ABV, you're not going to get crazy on this unless you drink a lot of them. So yeah, overall, I'll give that, I'll give that a C plus. It's above average beer. It's definitely better than your micro, your micro brews. No, it's definitely better than your macro lagers. And even when they have stuff like, you know, the pumpkin during the fall, their pumpkin wheat beers and stuff like that. This is substantially better than that, but I just think that it's a little too sweet and it has a little bit too much of a carbonation to be something that I really like. So it's definitely above average, and I'm going to give the Newcastle Werewolf Blood Red Ale a C plus above average. And until next time, keep tasting good beers. We'll see you on Christmas for one beer out of many I will be having with the family. We're going to pick one. We're going to do one on Christmas. And, and again, until next time, keep tasting those good beers.